So Butter Pecan is bloated right at the moment. So I thought I would film to show you guys what that looks like. So you're going to see, like, look at these sides. Will you hold still, please? So she has very bulbous sides right on either side. And she's sitting, like, hunched up. And you can see all the fur here that's kind of sticking out. She's puffed out. See, like, look at that shape. So she's still pooping, she's moving around and eating, but it's not normal. So normally she's very good, even though like bloat is something that she does suffer from once in a while, but we've had it under control. So it's possible that after the herd ate their veggies, I missed a piece because I always um, check everywhere to see that everything's been cleared out before I put her back. So that's possible so like as you can see like she just looks massive she's got her fur puffed out so what I do is I gave her two mils of the semethicone gas drops and then I need to wait about 20 minutes to half an hour and then we're going to go into some tummy rubs and tummy jiggles to get all the gas out so I'll have to do that a bunch I have a heat pad on the floor that's going to be where I do it. Uh, I find when you have heat it works even better. So I give her about 20 minutes to half an hour for the gas traps to start working through her system. Otherwise I find I can't get the gas out if I try right away. I have great success waiting for it to go through her system. Uh, another thing She's already on pain meds for her arthritis, and we're also already on cisapride and metoclopramide, which is a GI stimulant to get their stomachs moving. But as I said, like she's pooping, she's eating, she's drinking. It's something we're just going to work on now to get all that gas out so that she can stop, look stop looking puffy. If your guinea pig's bloated and they're not pooping, um, they're becoming lethargic not eating, not drinking, like that's serious. So we need to get the gas out quick and we will. Like her sides feel big, like she feels like she has lots of poops to still get out. So when we do the tummy rub, she's going to get gas out and it's going to help her start pooping a ton and it'll get everything flowing and everything getting out. Won't we? Yeah, I know you don't like me touching you right now. Did you find veggies or something by accident? Yeah, I just thought I would show you guys because everybody always asks, what does a bloated pig look like? So just look at her shape. I think she's all puffed up right all through here. All the fur is puffed up. And then we've got a huge stomach. Like this does not look normal. Just looks like a big balloon right here. And just really thick through here because all her fur is puffing up because she's uncomfortable. Because then you can come look at Reese. Hey sweetie. See the difference? Because Reese um, weighs more than Tubby's but like she looks slim when you're looking at tubbies right now, right? That is a normal pig. This is a pig that's bloaty. So anyway, I'm going to come back in 20 minutes and give the gas drops a little bit of time to work. So I've got pecan on, this is our heat pad and then a little liner. And then what we do is tummy shakes. So I just switch from side to side doing this. And I usually, usually, usually listen behind her little bum for hearing the gas to come out. So this is all I do is just shake her belly. And we do this for probably about half an hour. 
can switch between like doing rubs like this down the side but it works great so she already looks depuffed here so it's been 20 minutes since I gave her the gas drops and I came back down but like you can see like this is how big her belly is right now on either side two big mounds which is not normal so we are going to get to work and see how much gas we can get out Okay, so we have had lots of poops, eh? So actually her poops look really good, which is very positive. We have had tons of gas coming out, which is also positive. And when I've been doing stuff with her stomach, I can feel stomach movement. So you can feel like the ripple of the contractions of her stomach. So that's great. So she is chattering her teeth at me, which is Pecan telling me she wants to go back to the cage to go pee. So I'm going to put her back in the cage, and then we'll do this again in a couple hours. I'll give her a couple mils of gas drops, let her sit for 20 minutes, and we'll do this again later. But I'm very pleased with the progress, so I'll pop her back in the cage. There we go. Yep, we had to be... She does not like to pee if she's out of the cage. Oh, we're going to poop. We have two poops and we peed. So you can still see she has a belly on her. But we're in the right direction with a bunch of poops coming out. So that's very positive. Are we pooping again? Yeah, so she still has got a round tummy, but... We're getting somewhere. How's your bum? Yeah, we're pooping some more. So this is good. So that's a huge thing when they're bloated. You need to know that they're pooping and that their stomach's moving so that they're not in GI stasis. And the fact that she's eating is obviously a great sign. So, as I said, I'm going to let her just be in the cage for a bit, but we're going to come back in a couple hours to do this all over again. You can kind of see that she's still a bit puffy up here. So, I'm just going to set some more hay down for her to eat. Okay, so there's more hay. We'll leave her be. Stop bugging you, eh? Hey, Pecan. So, Pecan is looking better already. She still has a bit of a round tummy. But she's not standing all puffed up and her posture is better. So, it's been about two and a half hours since we last did our little tummy shaking. So, half an hour ago, I gave her some more meds and it was time for her evening meds so that's her cisapride and metoclopramide and we had more gas drops so she is ready for a bit more of a tummy shake but I'm very pleased she's already looking better can you guys tell the difference so she's not sitting so hunched so we can still see when she was moving, there, there's a bit of a bump there. Sorry, I'll let you have a drink. But so that's positive. It's going in the right direction. So I'm sure by morning she'll be back to herself, which is good. And obviously it's always positive when your guinea pigs are eating and drinking on their own and walking around. So perhaps I did miss a piece of vegetable somewhere in the cage. It's possible, because it is really weird that she was bloated so badly today when normally 
every day since we've been on our main medication she's been good so I'm gonna have to try to remember to put their veggies off to one side where I can really monitor sometimes the pigs are bad for you know picking up a piece of veggie and running into a bed and I check all the beds before I put her back but maybe I didn't see somebody go somewhere who knows so I'll wait for her to be finished drinking I think she's stalling and then we'll do some more tummy shakes Okay, so we are finished round two. We didn't get any poops, but we got some gas out. Not as much gas as the first time, but she's looking better, so I'm not surprised. And she's giving me the sign that she needs to go pee, so we better go back. Right, sweetheart? And thankfully, she's able to lay down comfortably, so we're doing good. So I'm going to pop her back in the cage. There we go. Going far away. You're gonna come back, Pecan? I'd like to see some poops happening. How embarrassing, eh? Hi, right, good girl. You gotta keep that up. Are we feeling a bit better? So we still got a little bit of a blubby tubby, don't we? Can we stretch out? Not quite. Okay, so I'll probably do another round before I go to bed, but I think I shall end the video here. What do you think, Pecan? Say bye-bye. If you like watching guinea pig videos, learning how to care for us, seeing product hauls or reviews, or really anything else guinea pig, please subscribe and make sure you hit that notification bell so you never miss a video. Down below I've left two more videos for you to pick from, so keep on watching!